TV, bringing you a broader perspective. Public affairs segment, giving the masses a grasp of informative, educative, and entertaining updates on current issues while guiding them to follow the latest development in the society. In TV, a broader perspective. And welcome to Public Affairs segment on BIM TV. Today we are going to BIM on Made in Akwaibom showroom. What is happening there? We've been hearing so much about Made in Akwaibom showroom. So we have a rebellious entrepreneur, Collins Oscar. <laughs> Collins Oscar, welcome to the program. Thank you, Blessing Ambrose. Thank you for having me. All right, Collins Oscar is the, the Chief Executive Officer of Made in Akwaibom showroom and is located at Number 129, Oron Road, here in Uyo, Akwaibom State. All right, um, Collins, Oscar, what is Made in Akwaibom Showroom? What? Okay, Made in Akwaibom Showroom is a one-stop shop for all kinds of, all the Made in Akwaibom products. So it's a, it's a supermarket where you walk in, you find a lot of products produced here by Akwaibomites by uh, youth of Akwaibom uh, State both consumables, non-consumable products, food items, um, um, cosmetics, um, jewelry, innovations, and as you can see. So it's an idea that we are trying to make people become self-employed. Okay, instead of depending on government, instead of waiting for, uh, for government, roll off your sleeves, get your hands dirty, produce something. Um, we help people to market it and help people to get patronage. If you notice, in Nigeria, uh, let me not talk about Akwaibom. In Nigeria as a whole, we find it difficult to patronize indigenous products. That is why the president, President Buhari, when he came up, he, he, he banned some products and said, let's patronize what is made in Nigeria. Now, coming back to what you're saying, that you want to um, promote what is made in Akwaibom, how will you assess people's patronage to indigenous products here? Before we started this vision, um, yeah, um, uh, we had that at the back of our mind that people really pr uh, patronize um, indigenous products. But now, just one year down the line, it's no longer so. We've added so much value, we've given people so much reason why they should patronize um, and their own products, indigenous uh, made products. And they also, after buying this thing, they, we don't give them room to regret, to say, ah, no, that uh, foreign products are better than this. No. So um, that's why I said it, until someone decides to give them reason that patronizing indigenously made products are far better than that. So um, before now, it was difficult. We really make sales. And you have to beg people. Some people will buy out of pity. Some people will buy just to, in the name of I'm encouraging you. Now, people are no longer buying to encourage us. They are buying for their own good. They are buying because it's better than those imported products. How will you assess uh, the products that are made in Akwaibom? Can it compete globally? Locally made products are somehow sometimes expensive. Even in Germany, I think 90% of the products sold in Germany are made in Germany. And they are even more expensive than the products that are coming in. The Germany. So locally made products are sometimes so expensive. And when you buy, they are not just expensive. When you buy them, they also give you value for your money. Yes. So we give you, you may say it's expensive, but I doubt it's not expensive. It's either because you cannot afford it. No. Yes. It's either because you cannot afford it. But once you have can afford this thing, it will give you complete value for your money, if not more than. So, um, see our soap, you see our cream, you see our whatever, they are, they, are, they, are, they are not expensive. You also want to look at the packaging or um, their, their status uh, in the market. You realize that those drinks have been in existence over 100 years. How old is this one? Maybe six months, one year. And can you give us 10 years down the line and see what we will, where we will, uh, in the, the, the level we will get to? And these things also, we are not just producing them for our own consumption. That's, I mean, just for you people or quite home state. We are producing them, having people in outside uh, Nigeria, outside Africa, and the world over. So we also try our best to, to, to make this thing globally compliant. All right, uh, Colin Zoska, you called entrepreneurs in a Kwaibom state to come together, produce something that could stand uh, global competition. 
will you say that this has impacted on the uh, economic growth of the state? Uh, sure. Sure. Um, this idea has been so helpful, not just not just for what people have been telling me, and I think we've been seeing proof also. Um, I wrote a book titled Idiots with VSC, and on that, that platform, I've been going around schools and a lot of places talking to people. The whole idea about Idiots with VSC is getting, um, finishing school and not just coming out to look for a job. After looking for a job, you can't secure a job. What next? You should produce something and start employing other people. So I've been going around just talking to people about that, and that wasn't enough. People just saw me as maybe a brilliant speaker who can do No. So to make it more practical, then come up, uh, came up with this idea, uh, made in a quiet room showroom, where because the whole idea was about talking to people how to produce something. Just get get your get get your name on a product, so that when next someone find him, he, he find himself in a supermarket, the supermarket will not just be filled with imported product. They can also find local content product produced here in Aquarium so with your name on it. I think that makes us feel good and shows that we are ready for it. Okay. All right. I would like to take a look at um, the products that you have and tell us, um, especially things that are not really known to the public. We like to go around. So you take us around and tell us what you have in the showroom. Public affairs segment, giving the masses a grasp of informative, educative, and entertaining updates on current issues while guiding them to follow the latest development in the society. In TV, a broader perspective. Ibom's Got Talent Show. Are you talented in music, dance, drama, comedy, ballet, spoken words, etc. and you are looking for a platform to showcase your talent? Do you want to belong to a leading theater group here in Akwaibom? Do you want to make a career out of your talent? Beam TV Show presents Ibom's Got Talent Show for you. Grab your form today with just 2,500 Naira at Beam TV Office, 12 William Street, Amecom Building, Uyo, AKBC Marketing Office, 3 Rodoma Avenue, Uyo, Diamond, Now Access Bank, Abak Road, Uyo, Stanford Microfinance Bank, Abak Road, Discovery Park, Udoma, Anna Road, Uyo. Made in Akwaibom Showroom, 129 Oron Road, Uyo. Prices to be won are first price 200,000 Naira, second price 100,000 Naira, third price 50,000 Naira, plus lots of consolation prices and other benefits. For more information, please call 0816 567 1899 or 0808 856 8753. Ibum's Got Talent Show, giving your talent expression. In TV. A broader perspective. As you can see, all of these things here are all made here in Aquaibum. This is a bamboo cup. This cup is made from bamboo. So we are not just selling made in Aquaibum products here. We are also trying to preserve some things, some new generation children now. This will look good on me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Made in Aquaibum, let's say, ambush. All right. So um, all of these plastics, um, um, a freshener, creams, insecticide made here. Yeah. Yes, those are lapel roses. Wow. Mm. This is yeah. lovely. We have our cream session, cosmetic session. Yeah. You should be using some, some of these things. things. <laughs> I use them. I use them. Okay. Right, so we have slippers here. Yeah? Mm, yes, those are raffia, raffia slippers. slippers. Raffia slippers. We have Maya. It's something we call Maya. What is Maya? Maya is Maya. palm kernel oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are edible products. Uh, we have our palm oil here. Of course, you know, quite we still produce the best, are the best producers of palm oil. So everything there, our rice, in the rice. Um, we have this, our wine section. So before now, um, South Africa was known as the only country producing wine in uh, the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. So quite we said I've also joined. So these ones here yeah, are produced from yes, yes, non-alcoholic wine and yes, alcoholic wine, wine, wine produced from 18 and local government. So this the is our almighty champion, champion mm -hmm. and our and own champ malt here, champ malta. So those are salt. That is the coconut flour. Wow. Yes. So that that's crayfish. Yes. Uh, there's something interesting here. Yeah. We call it our homemade kai kai. Hmm. Made in Aquaibum. We also have afang here. Yeah. Made in Aquaibum. Afang. Packaged afang. Uh, but it can't be the same as the fresh one. It's the same. 
Add, wa you add water to it, it is the same. Only water. It will resurrect. Everything will become fresh. Okay. Again. This is made in a quibon fridge. <laughs> we are using this fridge to prepare. We have made in a quibon fridge outside. So we have including even yogurt made here in a quibon. Very nice yogurt. Um, um, Zabo. Made in a quibon yogurt. <coughs> So, all of this so we can test the the made, the made in a quite you, 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 you are welcome. welcome. Mm. Welcome. I would like to interact with the um, producers of some of these products. Yeah. So, we'll have right, ready. Collins Oscar, thank you very much. Thank you. It was nice you. talking with you. Thank the you. Rebellious and Tapreno. Thank you, Auntie B. All right, we are still at Medina Kwaibom showroom, and um, we have an architect, a doctor that is also into uh, entrepreneurship. And uh, she's not just um, anyhow entrepreneur. She has done something that is not common, something that you cannot see anywhere. Okay. Architect, Architect Doctor, Doctor Enonio, it's, it's nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Today. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. All right, tell, tell us about, about your pedal, pedal tap. tap. Okay. I call this product pedal tap. When you want to use water at the sink, you carry a dirty hand, turn on the tap, and after washing your hands, you have to go back to that same tap to turn it off. So the whole world is in search of hands-free. Hands-free is more hygienic, it's more modern. So I came up with this idea of a pedal tap that you just press and the water comes out. So you don't need to go touching the dirty tap with your hands. All right, we are here with another entrepreneur and uh, he produces daily spice scent leaves. So he's going to tell us the difference between the spice and other spices we have in the market. My name is Paul Say. I am the founder of Daily Spice and Herbs. Uh, what we really do is, uh, in the I am an agri-empreneur. We partner with farmers to ensure that we curb wastage of agricultural products in the farms. Uh, you will agree with me that uh, a whole lot of produce are lost to 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 poor storage facilities. What we do as an agri entrepreneur is to ensure that most of these products are being gathered from the farms uh, with the storage facilities that we have. We ensure that we turn them to dry farms and that way it lasts longer. So Daily Spice and Herbs, like we say, we are completely and mainly in the business of spices. In Nigeria, we have 15 indigenous spices that are being cultivated in Nigeria. Okay. And uh, Basil as it is, it is called in Ibibio, it is in tongue, we know it in Ibibio as in tongue. Mm. In Yoruba, it is called a firin. In Igbo, it is called in Chanwu. And uh, in Hausa, it is called Daidoya. Now, it is uh, called Basil in English. Aside from that, sand leaf in particular, if you want to cut down your intake of salt, raw salt, it's a good substitute to use for steaming. If you don't want to use raw salt, you can use this to steam your meat before you use it for your soup. Okay. It, yes, it will reduce your, if you want to reduce your salt intake. So when we come to spices, we, is an industry that has not really been tapped in Nigeria because uh, we do not have enough companies that are into processing and packaging of these spices. Looking at these spices as a common product is just because a whole lot of people do not really know the values that this product do in our body system. So please, whenever you come across any of these spices, do ensure you add it to your meal at every opportunity that you have. Thank you so much. Wow, that's so insightful. Thank you very much, uh, Paul Nse, for this discovery. And uh, to you, I don't know what you're waiting for. Are you still blaming government? Are you still blaming your parents for not providing job for you? Why not get up, go in there, look within and look outward, look above. What are those things that you can do? 
think of how you can contribute to the growth, to the economic growth of this country. And tomorrow, you'll sit back and say, I contributed, and I'm proud that Nigeria is the way it is. We say thank you so much for following us to Medina Kwaibom Showroom, and you've seen the beautiful products that we have here. And in case you are in Uyo, the capital city of a Kwaibom state, please do well to walk up to no one number 129 Oron Road in Uyo and pick up so many things. In short, come here for, for shopping. You'll see everything that you want. And glorify your house with made in Aquibum product. I still remain your host, Blessing Ambrose. Thank you very much. MTV, a broader perspective. Ibom's Got Talent Show. Are you talented in music, dance, drama, comedy, ballet, spoken words, etc. and you are looking for a platform to showcase your talent? Do you want to belong to a leading theater group here in Akwaibom? Do you want to make a career out of your talent? Beam TV Show presents Ibom's Got Talent Show for you. Grab your form today with just 2,500 Naira at Beam TV Office, 12 William Street, Amecom Building, Uyo, AKBC Marketing Office, 3 Urodoma Avenue, Uyo, Diamond, Now Access Bank, Abak Road, Uyo, Stanford Microfinance Bank, Abak Road, Discovery Park, Udoma, Made in a Showroom, 129 Oron Road, Uyo. Prizes to be won are first prize, 200,000 Naira, second prize, 100,000 Naira, third prize, 50,000 Naira, plus lots of consolation prizes and other benefits. For more information, please call 0816 567 1899 or 0808 856 8753. Ibum's Got Talent Show, giving your talent expression. Watch BIM TV programs on the following channels ATBC, Monday, 7 to 8 pm, YouTube, BIM TV Nigeria, Facebook, BIM TV for advert placement, documentary, event coverage and airing, and special interview. Call 0816 567 1899 or 0808 856 8753. BIM TV, a broader perspective.